Today, I'm gonna to quickly just show you how a Zoom recording can look. So if you prefer to do your podcast recordings using Zoom and you wanna make them look as good as possible, then there's a few adjustments that you'll need to make to the actual way your guest and you are sitting, how far away you are, to get it looking as good as possible. So I'm actually just gonna show you a video of myself and my team member, Emily, in a Zoom room together with the video not optimized, as in, it. There's not the little tick box that you can tick on uh, the back end of Zoom to optimize that. So it's been crunched, the video has been crunched. So Emily's just gonna play with where she positions her laptop so that you can see the kind of changes that you can make to improve the actual quality of the guest's video that you get out. Because you are the host, you would hope that your side is really as good as possible anyway. You're sitting in a good location like I am now. I'm sitting kind of in a third of the screen. That's really important. You wanna make sure that you don't show up, you don't take up too much, like you're not like here because that's way too close. You wanna be sitting kind of here-ish, a little bit further away so that there's room either side. And especially if you're gonna create snippets out of it, the snippets are gonna kind of create come in a third, they're gonna cut you into around a third. So if you're kind of in a good position, then you can be framed really nicely. What you're trying to do for your guest is get them to be similar in that space as well. So this is just a quick little look at what we did in Zoom to make sure that the video actual framing was as good as possible. If you want a tutorial on how we actually achieved that because there was a few things in the video where you can't, what you see there is not straight out of Zoom. There are changes that I've needed to make to actually get that working. I've had to do adjustments to the audio, to the EQ, to the compression of the audio side, and then also the video side. I've had to make significant changes to the video to actually get us both in there full frame using Zoom audio as well. So if you want to know about how to change all those settings, how to set up the thing, how to integrate it, then watch that video. This video is just showing you your framing, what changes you can make to get your guests looking as good as possible. And you could even show this to your guests to say, hey, could you just watch this? And this will show you kind of the little changes that you can make to make sure that your video when we record is as good as possible. Now, I don't recommend you use Zoom to record your podcast episodes, but I do know that lots of people do it. So I wanted to make sure that I really helped you guys out with that aspect as well. If you would like specific help, if you want a tutoring type situation, you want to get one on one with me or someone in my team to just help you get through these little hurdles of recording or editing, then there is a link to book in to have a one on one consultation. And there are varying lengths of those as well, depending on how much help you actually think you need. Go for it. Happy for you to book those in and good luck. Let's get into the video that you will see from within Zoom. Okay, this is Emily. Hi, Emily. Hi, Bree. Thanks for having me. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> so you can see here, the lighting's not that great. She doesn't have a microphone. She's got headphones, so that's a win at least. The framing isn't particularly good. This is what you might expect when you are having a guest on who hasn't been prepped at all and they're just coming on being themselves, which is fine. They can be themselves. I'm just letting you know. This is the kind of setup that it would be your kind of minimum. At least Emily's got some decent light as in like coming in from windows so she's not in like a dark hole. And if you just talk, uh, Emily, maybe tell me, have you had breakfast yet and what you had for breakfast so that we can see what you sound like as well with just using your MacBook as the microphone. Okay, so I haven't currently eaten because I am do intermittent fasting. But when I do eat, it's going to be wonderful because I'm always like leaping towards the finish line of my fasting <laughs> when that happens, so... This is a common framing down here mm. where it's like all ahead and then nothing else. And then what are we supposed to do with that? When you look at that frame, how do you make that better? The answer is you can't make it better if they don't move. But this, when she moves to this location, she's in the middle. She's angling it down a little bit. And that's great for a guest episode where you're not going to ask them to get lights. You're not going to ask them to get microphones. You're just going to deal with what they have. Yep. So making a few adjustments there, you can see now she's not angled 
down, like coming up from the chin. And so just those little adjustments, even to that frame, you could probably ask them to put up, put the laptop up on a few books. Are you just holding it there, Em? Yeah, I'm just holding it. Yeah. So even if she had it up on like a couple of books so that it was just higher, that frame is way better. And now put it back on the uh, table. See? So that is getting like a lot of bottom chin. And then when you crop that in, then it goes even closer in just on that and then bring it back up again. Yeah. Way better. Cool. Anything you'd add there, Emily? I guess just like as much space around their face and head, the better, mm. because we have to stretch it up for snippets. Yeah, otherwise you get like a bunch of face and yeah. then just nothing else. Yeah. yeah, cool. All right. Thanks for joining me on my tutorial about what not to do. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye.